Hi friends, Pastor Jesse here at Peckway Church of Whitehorse. I want to welcome you in for video number four of our four-part series where we've looked at so far in video one, our purpose statement of helping people know and follow Jesus, the true north of all that we do as Peckway Church. We looked at video number two at our mission statement, which is practically how we actually carry out our purpose of helping people know and follow Jesus. Our, our mission statement is to multiply faith, to multiply disciples, and to multiply hope in a hurting world. And then last video, we looked at our vision statement, what we actually see happening, what we will see happening, what we are already seeing happening as we carry out our purpose and mission statement, what we see God doing amidst us and through us as we seek to help people know and follow Jesus Christ. That's two stanza declaration of vision for our church. And now we come to our core values. And in our core values is, is seven different core values. I don't think any of them will be... Will be um, you'll have a dispute with. I don't think any of them will be earth shattering. These are principles that guide every church of Jesus Christ and, and that will certainly guide our church and our lives as followers in Jesus Christ. And the first one is a commitment to both public and private prayer. We do, I believe, I would commend us for doing a great job of that here at Peckway Church of Whitehorse. We have, since I've been a part of this body, we have been committed to prayer. We pray for the needs of our church family here in our services. We pray for the needs of our community and our church family on Wednesday night during our Bible study and prayer night. We pray and we pray and we pray. We pray at leadership meetings. We are a church that bathes everything that we are and everything that we do as Peckway Church, both publicly and, and I invite us to. We, we are only accountable to ourselves and to God in the private part of prayer, but we bathe and we set the example by publicly committing everything that we do here at Peckway Church in prayer. That's the only way that we will be able to discern what God wants us to do, and that's the only way that we'll be able to carry out what God wants us to do in his ways and in his name is through prayer. The second truth is, is biblical, or the second core value that we share is biblical truth in preaching and teaching. And this involves the idea and the reality that the Bible is the inspired, inerrant, word of God, that it is infallible, that it is without error, and that it is the one and only authority within the church, within this church, and within our lives, that there is no mistakes in the Bible, that there's no um, uh, outside interpretation that is needed, that there's no new age thinking that's needed to understand the Bible, that what the Bible says is what the Bible means, is what God wants his people to know, to follow, and to understand. It is what it is the belief that God inspired men and women, Paul and the gospel writers and the Old Testament prophets and everyone in between, that God inspired through the Holy Spirit these men and women to write the word of God. And it is the literal word of God. And that, that will then be exalted through the preaching and the teaching that exists in this church. Sunday mornings, Wednesday nights, Monday nights, whatever, in between, we believe that the Bible... And we preach that the Bible is biblical truth, that it is God's infallible, inspired word. So that's core value number two. Then we, as we exist as Peckway Church, that we have compassion for one another. So those that exist in this church and those that exist in the broken world. That just means that we are a compassionate people, that we have and we inspire to have a heart, that we inspire to give our lives and live our lives as our Savior has given his life and lived his life for us. He has shown us an immense and immeasurable amount of compassion as those that have rebelled and once rejected him, that he's given us an avenue to come back and by faith and through his grace come to a saving, restored relationship with him. So we exist to show that same type of compassion to the world that is around us, and we exist to shine that light of compassion uh, amongst us and to one another, those that call Peckway Church their home church and their home body. And then we will have a passion for both evangelism and discipleship. In my eyes, evangelism and discipleship are closely linked. They are one and another. Evangelism is is kind of the beginning of the discipleship process. It is the beginning of the discipleship process. It is how people come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Evangelism, uh, in the original language, it just means sharing the good news. It's someone who proclaims the good news. And as people called by the name of Jesus Christ, we are people called to share the good news 
of Jesus Christ. We have a passion to do that. And as people hear the good news of Jesus Christ, as they come to saving faith in Jesus Christ, we're going to raise them up. We're going to disciple them. We're going to point them and help them be lifelong learners, lifelong disciples of Jesus Christ, lifelong individuals who give their lives and give their time and give their resources to growing in their understanding of their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to becoming more and more like him in everything that we say and do. So grace in our relationship, that's the next core value that we share. Grace in our relationships, both in this church and outside of the church. That, again, it's, it's much like our compassion for one another. We know that we are not perfect. We know that this church body, those that come into these seats every Sunday morning, those that call Peckway Church their home church, we know that we are not perfect. We need to show one another grace, the same type of grace and forgiveness that God has shown to us. We know that the world around us, that they are not perfect either, that they, like us, are sinners that have fallen well short of the glory of God. And we know as the church and as those that interact with the world that is around us, we all need an immense amount of grace. And thanks be to God, God has shown us an immense amount of grace. And as his followers, as his image bearers, we exist to show that same type of grace, that same level of grace in this building and amongst this body, but also to those that we encounter and interact with in the world that is around us. Grace in our relationships, both inside and outside of the church. And then authenticity in worship and ministry. This is very overarching. It's, it's, it's a very broad topic, but this just means that, that we are who we are. We are not trying to put on a show in worship here it's through our worship team or, or through our prayer leaders, or I'm not trying to put on a show as your pastor. We are authentic in worship and ministry. What you see is what you get. We're not trying to be someone that we're not. We're all together trying to be sinners saved and molded by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are authentic in worship and ministry. There's nothing that you see that is not what is truly being worked at by God in our heart and in our lives. Authenticity in worship and ministry. And then finally, our seventh core value, our, our seventh guiding principle that that goes forth before us as a church is that we will be creative in our pursuit to share hope with a hurting world. Again, this is a broad topic. It relates very well to that third mission statement uh, that we share here at Peckway Church, which is to multiply hope. It is just that we will, again, as we said in video number two, we will not put God into a box. We will not say that, God, you have to work in this way. We will not say to God, God, this is the method that we have chosen. This is the method that we have always gone about in evangelism and discipleship. That We will not put method before the mission of God. We will not put method before being a missionary movement of God. A missionary movement, again, that, as we said in previous videos, that wants to reach Whitehorse, that wants to reach Salisbury Heights, that wants to reach into New Holland and Paradise and Parksburg and Ephrata and down into to Chester and, and everywhere in between, to the very ends of the earth, we will not put God in a box as we seek to share the hope of Jesus Christ with a world that is in desperate need of the hope of Jesus Christ, the only actual and ultimate hope that exists in our lives and in our world. We will allow the God of all creativity, the God who created everything that we see and who created everything that we see to be good, including you and I originally, that we will not allow that God of all creativity to be caged in and be hemmed in because we believe that, that our method, that our thought process, that our way of doing things is, is better than, than God's way of doing things and, and creating things. So we will have creativity in our pursuit to share hope with a hurting world. That's our seventh and final core value. So I believe and I pray that these um, four videos will help you understand who we are as Peckway Church of Whitehorse, who we exist to be, who we are striving by the power of the Holy Spirit to be, what we are striving by the Holy Spirit to do and accomplish as the church that exists and meets here at, at uh, 5482 Old Philadelphia Pike in Whitehorse. I pray that these videos help you as you maybe are discerning what church body to come and visit. Maybe you're looking for a church home and you've stumbled across our website, our church, and these videos, I pray that they would help you discern the church of God's own choosing for your life. I pray that maybe you're someone that's already been sort of visiting our church, maybe visited a few times, and you're trying to better understand who we are. I pray that God would help you discern, again, the church of your own choosing. And maybe you're already an existent and a longtime member of the church here at Peckway Church of Whitehorse. I pray that these videos 
videos are used in your life to help you have a deeper fervency for the mission that that God has given to us. Not the mission that I'm given to you as, a, as your pastor, but the mission that God has given to us, that the mission that God has given to you to help people know and follow your son, to go forth and share the hope of his son with the world that is around us. I pray that, that God uses these videos in these ways in your life and in ways that I can't even begin to imagine. He is the God of immeasurably more, and I hope that he uses these videos to do immeasurably more in your life and in your relationship with Christ than, than I could ever begin to imagine. May God bless you, and I hope that one day I see you at Peckway Church of Whitehorse and you join us in our mission of helping people know and follow Jesus.